microplastics, when looked at macroscopically, drastically affect marine life. Being a science student and going through multiple research papers, I discovered the grave issue of bioaccumulation, which eventually affects humans with its heightened toxicity. Microplastics are a primary cause of this phenomenon. Combining my deep concern, scientific principles and social responsibilities, I was urged to turn the tables and make the environment and our health a priority. People tend to neglect the accumulation of plastic under the ocean since they cannot look at the issue directly. This is why we need to put our heads in deep to look at the atrocities caused by them. Recently, I went for a scuba diving trip to see marine life right in front of my eyes. I also went to do shark and coral reef conservation where I got to see how the plastic under the ocean affects the entire ecosystem. Being passionate about flying drones, I was determined to make use of it to create a solution to our problem. Having a clothing business myself, I understood the problem created due to the microplastics of the synthetic material. With the urge to reduce the waste I generated, I recognized the need for a service that would decrease plastic pollution. Currently, the fashion industry remains highly concerned about the problems of fast fashion. That's the issue our product solves, making industries like fashion outlets and governments a perfect target market. Plastic endorses sustainability through its high technological services in a cost-effective manner. Gaining financial knowledge through my experiences, I wish to actively work towards ensuring a service with such a welfare motive remains accessible to all and makes an impact. These costs will be recovered primarily through crowdfunding, CSR funds, sustainability-focused grants and green bonds. Moreover, a subscription model scheme will depend on the area the companies plan on sweeping, which will help gain revenue. Our product is based around the mechanism of a drone. It consists of a compartment that stores our acaba fiber net, which is placed into the water in a conical shape, allowing marine animals to pass through if stuck. Next, we have a sprinkler in the middle to help release the ferrofluids in the vicinity of the net. This will help attract the microplastics that can easily be collected in the net without harming marine life. Lastly, we have magnets interwoven in the net that will eventually attract the ferrofluids that encapsulate the microplastics, leaving the water unharmed and plastic-free. Team Plastic signing off.